Dear students, today we are going to study about the chapter number system. This is our first unit number system in this chapter. Four parts are there. First one is knowing our numbers and second is uh, fractions, rational number like that. So, today we are going to study about numbers. This is just a recall. We are already learned about our previous classes. The first one is counting numbers, counting numbers or natural number. Counting numbers means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that is goes on plus infinity that is our natural numbers and the second point is whole numbers. In whole numbers we are adding 0 to natural numbers which means we are starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 etc. So, our next is negatives of counting numbers are called negative numbers. Negative actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that is our natural numbers, counting numbers. Then negative sign of natural numbers are our negative numbers. So, in this class our topic is integers. Integers means that is the collection of whole numbers and negative numbers are called integers. Which means it is start from minus infinity etc minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 and it goes on plus infinity which means integers is the collection of whole numbers and negative numbers so we can represent positive numbers and negative numbers on extended number line number line means so here we can draw a number line like this so, this arrow marks represent it goes on that side and this side. Okay. So, here I am writing 0 here. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. All positive numbers are right side of the 0 and all negative numbers are left side of the 0 which means minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. It goes on this side which means these all are our negative numbers. This is our negative numbers and here 0 to this one is our whole numbers which means integers means integers are the collection of whole numbers and negative numbers. Some properties of whole numbers and integers. We know that whole numbers start from 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. Integers means that is the collection of whole numbers and negative numbers. So, our first property larger whole number minus smaller whole number equal to positive integer. So, for an example suppose I am taking larger whole number as And smaller whole number as 5. So, definitely 10 is the larger number and 5 is the smaller number. So, what is our first property? Larger whole number minus smaller whole number equal to positive integer. So, I substitute at the place of larger whole number 10 minus 5. What is the value of 10 minus 5? That is equal to 5. 5 means here there is no sign which means that is positive 5 always. Which, which means larger whole number minus smaller whole number always a positive integer. Our second property is smaller whole number minus larger whole number is equal to negative integer. We can check with one example. Okay. So, first you take smaller whole number as 5 and larger whole number as 10. Okay, that is here 
Here first we find the difference between two numbers. What is the difference between 10 and 5? 5 is the difference and put the sign of larger number. Here larger number is 10, the sign of larger number is minus. So here we can put minus. So the value is a negative integer. Our next property, all whole numbers are greater than negative numbers. So we can check it this in a number line. So this is an extended number line. Here I write 0 and right side of the 0 there is always a positive numbers and left side of 0 that is negative numbers which means here is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like this side and here 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. So what is our property? All whole numbers are greater than negative numbers. Here these are our negative numbers. And 0 to this portion is our all numbers. Zero to this section is our all numbers and this is our negative numbers. So what is our property? All all numbers are greater than negative negative numbers, which means in this extended number line that is very clear. Okay. So this side is whole numbers that is always greater than this negative numbers. Our next property 0 is neither positive nor negative. Okay, that is very clear. 0 is not a positive number and also that is not a negative number. And the next property, the smallest natural number is 1 but the largest natural number does not exist. Okay, in a number line our smallest natural number means it starts from 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. So the smallest natural number is 1 and the largest one is does not exist means that is we don't know which is the largest number. And our last property is minus 1 is the greatest negative integer. Negative integer means we know that minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 etc. We don't know up to minus infinity. In that case which means here you just look <coughs> this is our number line okay in this number line here is suppose this is 0 then right side of this 0 is positive numbers and left side of the 0 is negative numbers all negative numbers are here only minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 like that in these negative numbers minus 1 is the greatest negative integer and here 1 2 3 4 etc here 1 is the smallest positive integer first example arrange the following numbers in Ascending order, which are our numbers minus 7, minus 17, minus 3, minus 15 and 0. Five numbers are there. Our question, we have to arrange these five numbers in ascending order. Ascending order means that is increasing order. So, first you write the smallest number and the last one must be the largest number. Okay. So, in these five numbers, which is the smallest number? Actually first four numbers are negative numbers. Okay, what is the speciality of negative numbers? In negative numbers, largest value with negative sign is the smallest number. For example, don't look this one. Okay, I am taking minus 5 and minus 10. Okay, in these two numbers, which is the smallest one and which is the largest one? The smallest negative number means that is the value, the greatest value with the negative sign. Here the greatest value is 10. So the greatest value with negative sign is the smallest number. So when we are considering this minus 5 and minus 10, minus 10 is the smallest 
integer and minus 5 is the largest one. So, using this way here minus 7, minus 17, minus 3, minus 15 and 0. Here which is the largest value? 17 is the largest value. Largest value with negative sign is the smallest number. So, here our first smallest number is minus 17 and next next is minus 50 minus 7 minus 3 and 0 this is the order okay minus 17 is the smallest one and 0 is the largest one arrange the following numbers in descending order actually this is same as the previous question descending order means that is in decreasing order so, just try to do yourself. This is actually workout example from your textbook only. So, just try to do yourself. Next is addition of integers. Here addition of integers means in this session we are just considering two numbers. When we are adding two numbers, how we assign the sign? When we are adding two numbers means maybe both numbers are positive or both numbers are negative or one number is positive number and another is negative or first one is negative number and the second number is positive in those case how we assign the sign so the first one positive number plus positive number equals positive sign which means when we are adding two positive number our answer is always a positive number for example we are considering two positive numbers two positive numbers are we are taking two and three two and three means these both numbers are positive numbers so we are adding two positive number what is the answer and what is the sign of that number so here two plus three equal to five we know that two plus three equal to five here 2 means that is this is also positive 1 and this simply 3 means here is also the sign positive. So our answer is also a positive number. Positive number means here a number our sign is positive sign. Same way second one when we are adding two negative numbers what is the sign of that answer. So Two negative numbers means we are considering minus 2 and minus 3. Minus 2 and minus 3 are two negative numbers. We are adding these two negative numbers that is minus 2 plus minus 3. So what is the answer and how to find the answer? Add two numbers and put negative sign. Here we are adding minus 2 and minus 3. Just forget about the sign. We are adding the numbers 2 and 3. What is the answer? 2 plus 3 is 5. And put negative sign. So the answer is minus 2 plus minus 3 equal to minus 5. And these are the merging of two conditions. Suppose you just to think first number is positive and the next number is negative or first number is negative number and the second number is positive number in those case how we put the sign so here we are taking first condition positive number plus negative number so i am taking 8 plus negative number minus 2 what is the answer Find the difference between two numbers and put the sign of largest number. So, here which are our two numbers? Don't bother about the sign. Just take only the numbers. 8 and 2 are our two numbers. So, find the difference of these two numbers. The difference of 8 and 2 is 6 and put the sign of largest number here which is the largest number 8 is the largest number here there is no sign which means that is always positive so the value is plus 6 in second case negative number plus positive number that is suppose 
minus 8 plus 2. Here first one is negative number and second one is positive number. Then what is the answer? Here also find the difference between two numbers and put the sign of largest number. Here 8 is the largest value. What is the sign of this largest value? Negative is the sign. So here we can apply that negative sign. So the answer is minus 6. Over questions are there. Four questions. First one 11 plus 25. Here both numbers are positive numbers. Second question, minus 15 plus 8. Here first number is negative and second number is positive. And third one, minus 22 plus minus 30. Here both the numbers are negative. And the last one, 18 plus minus 9. First number is positive number and the second number is negative number. So just try to do yourself this all homework questions.